Hello, it's Chris Yost at Billion RV in Balmy, Duluth, Minnesota. Today is Wednesday, February 1st, 2023, and behind me, right off the truck, is our brand new 2023 Grand Design Reflection 278 BH fifth wheel. We're gonna show you on the outside, show you the inside, see what you guys think. So yeah, it's uh, about 70 degrees in here. About 10 below outside this morning, so we'll stay in here. It's a little more doable. So 278, Reflection, half ton series, 150 series, from Grand Design, all aluminum frame, laminated fiberglass exterior, heated and closed holding tanks. Here's your big LED lit power awning. Outside speakers there for Larry and your Tom Petty at the campground. Got the fold up aluminum steps. Magnets to hold up the doors. Nice pass through storage there. Two 30 pound LP tanks, one on each side. We fill those. We include a brand new Deep Cycle 27 series battery that we put right in there. We also include a complete orientation when the consumer comes to pick up. We're family owned here over 65 years, no games, no hidden fees. Here's the new kind of silverish gray fiberglass cap. The LED light here for hooking up at night. This coach is about 8,600 pounds dry, so once again, with a newer half ton, you can certainly pull this where you want to go. Just a nice hookup center right here. Gives you a diagram for stupid people like myself, so I know just what to do if I'm dry camping or winterizing. Cable satellite hookup, black tank flush, valves that are right here, so you're not bending over breaking your back down there. And of course, priceless, auto leveling. Boom, hit that button, walk away, it'll do it for you. Tankless water heater, also going to have a 165 watt solar panel up there on the roof to trickle charge that battery to keep the 12 volt fridge in this going. A little tight in here, sorry for trying to back up, give you guys a good view. Put this charge right there for you. Check this out back here. Never complain about too much storage. So, first of all, wired for uh, Furion backup camera, full walk on roof with your roof ladder right there. Outside spray port, that's just cold water there. You can actually spray off your griddle if you want, or yourself, or the dog. And there's your 3,000 pound hitch with a four prong plug to pull your boat, utility trailer. Here's where you can put your own one of the guests. Tons of storage there. Little outside kitchen area, motion sensor lighting. Here's your capital griddle, 110 refrigerator if you're at the campground for a few days. And since there's no bumper on the back, there's a nice PVC pipe that right there to put your sewer hose. Of course, aluminum rims. This coach hasn't been washed yet, it will get a bath. It's a nice fold away at your handle, these are priceless. And once again, that arc insulation there refers to that enclosed heat underbelly. Come inside. The only carpet you're gonna find is gonna be back there in the bunk area or up there with the main bed area. Or when you walk in, you find loads of your tanks, awning light, porch light, awning and slide switches all right there. And to your left, CD and DVD player. Let's take a listen, play name that tune. What do we got? One, two, three, can you hear it? Bad company. A little classic rock. Obviously you got your C-shaped dinette and 12 volt fridge slide out there. This sofa here will fold out. Try to fold sofa to sleep a couple extra guests if you want. Lots of storage. Those nice drawers. Tons of counter space. I'm gonna turn down bad cold a little bit here. I got some background noise. There we go. Of course, that dinette does go to another bed. And you do have storage underneath both ends. Got your oven with the door, or sorry, the window in the door, so you can see what you're burning. Three burner stove top with the cover, and that also acts as a backsplash. This microwave is a really nice height. You don't have to reach up to get your stuff. We'll have some storage up here as well, nice and deep for the stuff you're not using as much. Nice big stainless steel sink with a sprayer. Someone's getting lippy. Give them a little. Shot of that, they'll shut up, or they'll leave, one of the two. Counter extension there is flipped up. 
Of course, pocket door, close off. Kids, guests, or use this for extra storage. Put the golf clubs on there if you want. Here's a second closet there. So if you don't have guests with, the wife's got another closet right there. And this back for a TV and hooked up right there to the TV antenna if you want to add a TV to this area. And what's nice is windows so you don't feel so claustrophobic. All right, looking this way. Of course, ducted air conditioning, ducted heat. No heat ducts in the, ducts in the floor, which is nice. You're not gonna drop garbage down there and dust and cr crumbs and dirt. More storage here. And what's nice too, there's no carpet on the steps. If you have a bathroom emergency, you zip up here, run right up here, right into the all-in-one bathroom. Porcelain toilet, more durable, easier to clean. Nice area there for towels and washcloths. Medicine cabinet here. Good size sink. You can actually get a couple hands in there to get clean. A little counter there for your toothbrush or shaver. Actual glass door to the shower. And of course with that skylight, like I always say, we'll go in here. So I'm just over 6'2". I'm not coming with, but as you can see, even I could get clean in here. Another nice feature, pocket door to the bathroom. So instead of swinging that open and hitting the spouse to have them go flying down the stairs, it just slides out of the way. This gives you more room in here for those that swing in here normally. It gives you more room to get dried off, get dressed, whatever you need to do. And of course, like in every grand design, true queen bed, 60 by 80. Storage underneath with the shocks that hold it up. Isn't her nightstands, great place for CPAP machines. Do have 110 plugins on both sides, place for a little cell phone shelf up there. And it does have, what's nice, windows on both sides. You got the nice roller rocket cage. You can open these up and get cross ventilation if you don't want to use the AC. And, which I love in these models, don't have the bed slide out. Look at how big that closet is. The wife's absolutely gonna love that. Guys, you're not gonna get a bit of this, so don't even talk about it, but nice, deep ball bearing drawer glide drawers. And once again, in this area, wired for the TV antenna is wired right to there, so you can add a bedroom TV if you like, and you got the pocket door for some privacy. Just a great half ton towable bunkhouse from Grand Design Reflection. We're glad to have a 23. It's here, it's available as of today. We've got our huge open house sale starting next week. Runs for about nine days. Only day we're closed is Sunday. Best prices of the year. It may not feel like spring now, but it's coming. And the camping season is very short. Once again, Chris Yost here at Bullion RV in Duluth. For those of you who don't know where Duluth, Minnesota is, if you're looking at a map of the US, we're at the far western tip of Lake Superior. We're about two and a half hours due north of Minneapolis, St. Paul. I've been here 22 years. I'll do whatever I can do to earn your business. If you're interested, feel free to call or text me anytime, day or night. We also take trades. My number is 218-393-1472. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe. That way every time a new video comes up, you'll get an alert and you can learn more about what we've got here to offer here at Bullion RV. Stay safe, stay positive, and happy camping.